Hey everyone, this is a look at Android 4.4.4 KitKat running on the Xperia Z3V on the left here and Android 5.0.2 Lollipop running on the Xperia Z3 Plus. Now with the uh, Z3V for Verizon, this variant still hasn't received the Lollipop update. So this video will be helpful for, well really anyone who's um, has Android and still on KitKat, but especially those of you who have Xperia devices. So, um, I'll show you for, guys first the lock screen. Now, with the Z3V with KitKat here, you see it's much more bare. You don't have uh, like the notifications here as you do on the Volleypop version. And you can also scroll down and expand these notifications. Um, with KitKat, you can use widgets on the lock screen, which they've removed now on Volleypop. But I think that's the only advantage that that had. Um, you see here at the bottom, you can swipe this way to access your camera. You can swipe this way for call. And then you slide up to unlock. Whereas with this, there's different unlock ways you can unlock your phone, but you can do it in any direction. Alright, so now we have the main interface here. And so you'll see... Sony, they've updated the um, pictures on their apps, the graphics on their apps are more uh, in line with the overall look of Volleypop. So that's the, uh, well, the music app's actually already updated on this, but the album, movies, and PlayStation. And that's really the same for a lot of the uh, overall design of this. You see, the Volleypop version it has something called material design, and it's much more flat, and in my opinion, I, I definitely prefer to look a Volleypop on here. So here you see the notifications. Now with Volleypop, you can slide down once to access your notifications, and then slide down a second time to get your quick settings. On KitKat, you have to get them up here. So it's easier to access them on Volleypop, and you also see that you have your... Uh, able to adjust the screen brightness right here. Now in the top right corner here on Mollipop you see that you also have a user profile. So you can have multiple profiles in here. Uh, you can also have guest accounts. This is definitely helpful if, like, if you're giving your phone to your friend and you don't want them uh, accessing certain things on your phone. Um, now you got the settings on KitKat, you have the settings here. On Mollipop you have it right up here. So I'll show you guys the difference of how the screen looks. Actually, let me put up the brightness on here one second. All Another thing you guys will probably notice is here at the bottom, the icons have been changed. Uh, personally, I like the look of them on Lollipop more. And just bringing up the apps, different way of scrolling. Uh, on Lollipop, you can definitely have more applications here to swipe through. Just in my opinion, an easy way of viewing it then on KitKat. And Sony's, uh, they've also updated their themes. As you can tell, both of these are currently, they're listed in here as blue. I'll reapply them right here. But they actually look pretty different. I definitely, once again, I prefer the way it looks on Lollipop here. Yeah, even with the apps you see here, you have, uh, you can search for them. So yeah, guys, um, this is not going to be covering all the changes made in Volleypop, but I wanted to at least give you guys a general overview of what it looks like, the differences. Um, as I've mentioned numerous times during this video, I definitely prefer to look at Volleypop, and 
hopefully for Verizon, they'll update it to Lollipop soon. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment. And thanks for watching.